It seems as though our eyes are always cast upon the future. We're always waiting to see what scientific advancements will be made next and what new technology will soon be released. However, it can be easy to forget that although the future is promising in some regards, there's still a lot about the past that we are yet to uncover and understand. There are dozens of ancient unsolved mysteries that are begging for an explanation. Today, we'd like to take a look at a few legendary objects and locations that remain unexplained. But before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more great videos. Also, stick around for number one to see the oddest and most mysterious story yet. Sahama Lines after learning about the Nazca Lines, you're probably beginning to realize just how strange ancient human history can be. Well, another set of similar lines was found, though these lines absolutely blow the Nazca Lines out of the water. These lines, called the Sahama Lines, are typically between 3 and 10 feet in diameter and can be upwards of 11 miles in length, taking up an area of approximately 70,000 square feet. That's more than 15 times the size of the Nazca Lines. The main reason that these strange lines are so incredible is simply because of how straight they are. One would expect them to begin to curve or veer off the path at one point or another. Though for up to 11 miles, these lines remain perfectly straight. Even stranger is that even though these lines are absolutely incredible, no civilization is known to have laid claim to them. Their origins are completely unknown, but many believe that they could likely even be prehistoric and may have been created over the course of countless generations. While we may never know their true purpose, many believe that the lines may have been used to guide pilgrims, mark burial sites, or they may possibly have some sort of astrological importance. We may simply never know. Stone Balls of Costa Rica the Stone Spheres of Costa Rica, or more simply known as simply the Stone Balls, are a collection of hundreds of massive stone spheres that have been found all throughout the country of Costa Rica. They've been found assembled in a number of different shapes or simply placed seemingly at random, though no one has any idea why they're there or where exactly they came from. It's believed that the first spheres were carved back around the first century, but this is very hard to confirm as most of the stones are no longer in their original locations. Over the years, many have been moved and scattered throughout the country, with many becoming popular tourist attractions in the area. Most of the stones measure in at just around 2 meters, with some weighing as much as 15 tons. They're typically formed from giant chunks of rock or salt, with some even being made from limestone. It's believed that they were likely hammered into shape, then polished with sand, but the degree of polishing on the rocks varies dramatically, indicating that they may have all been built during largely separate time periods, with some unfinished spheres having been found on nearby mountains. The strange sphere remained undiscovered until about 1930 when a fruit company began clearing out jungles in the area to use as banana plantations. During the process of this demolition, many spheres were crushed by bulldozers and some were even drilled into or exploded with dynamite and some of the workers on site had the strange assumption that they may have been filled with gold. Because of this, a number of the spheres were completely destroyed and others were greatly damaged, though a handful of them have been pieced back together and put on display at a nearby museum. To this date, no one knows where the stones came from or their purpose. Many people believe that they've been created in a nearby long-lost city, however, this is just a theory. The truth is, we have no idea what the purpose of these balls would have been or who would have created them all those years ago. The Death of Alexander the Great 
Alexander the Great is one of the most famous, most well-documented individuals in ancient history. Though Alexander's life and death hold countless mysteries that to this day remain unsolved. Alexander the Great was known to have ruled over Greece until about 323 BC, when he suddenly became ill and passed away about two weeks later. Many people believe that Alexander had been poisoned after entering Babylon, though recent discoveries Discoveries and investigations may prove that Alexander simply became sick and that his death was, for all accounts and purposes, a mistake. Around the time of Alexander's death, there were countless suspects who claimed to have witnessed his poisoned state firsthand, including his wife, his brother, and many civilians. However, one very important part of history that was never witnessed was the actual poisoning itself, the act of Alexander becoming poisoned. This naturally leaves a lot of room for doubt, and in today's world, poisoning certainly wouldn't be the first assumption. In fact, many of the symptoms that Alexander displayed during his final days, such as high fever, sweats, and abdominal pain, could even be explained by something as simple as food poisoning, or more likely malaria. Now, this may simply sound like a conspiracy theory at first, and in a way it is, but the fact remains that there's more than enough room to cast reasonable doubt on the fact that Alexander was poisoned. Though we may finally know for sure in the coming years, if a handful of archaeologists have their way and are allowed to survey and possibly dig at the gravesite of Alexander the Great. With today's technology, we may finally be able to find out if Alexander was a affected by a virus, a type of food poisoning, or if he was legitimately poisoned by those who opposed him. However, there's one small hitch with this plan that you may already know about. No one knows where this man was buried. Yes, the tomb of Alexander the Great has never been uncovered, and all these years later, experts have no idea where he was laid to rest. Legend says that his body was preserved with honey and buried somewhere in Alexandria. According to various reports, his tomb was supposed to have been beautifully decorated so that he would have everything he may ever need in the afterlife. With this said, it stands to reason that if his tomb is ever found, it will likely be filled with ancient relics that are worth millions of dollars. Though to this day, we have no idea where Alexander's resting place may truly be hiding. Underground Cities The country of Turkey is said to be home to dozens of underground cities and caves, many of which remain undiscovered. One of these cave systems is known as Derinkuyu, which contains 18 separate levels and enough space to house an estimated 20,000 people. Strangely, this cave system was only discovered in 1962, when a local man knocked down a wall while renovating his home. Behind this wall, he found a passageway that led to a large network of tunnels, hallways, and chambers. Experts who have visited the site are still unsure of who who built the cave system or what its purpose was. Inside, researchers have found several small shops, wells, stables, meeting areas, and heavy stone doors that would have protected its citizens from any potential threats. The Lost Labyrinth when you think about lost, forgotten, or unsolved ancient mysteries, I'm sure one location comes to mind more than any other – ancient Egypt. It goes without saying that ancient Egypt is one of the most unexplained time periods and locations in all of human history. The buildings and structures that these forgotten people created are unlike anything else in the world today. However, how they built these buildings and what purpose they served has never been determined. But that's irrelevant to the topic at hand today. What we'll be unveiling is far more bizarre than the pyramids and much more difficult to explain. 
Legend tells of a former pharaoh who wanted to build a gigantic building unlike anything else that can be found in Egypt to this day. If real, this building would have been one of the largest structures in the world at the time of its construction. The idea of this building made headlines not because of how incredible it was, rather because we don't even know if it ever truly existed. If we look back in time, a Greek historian named Herodotus once mentioned this building in his writings. He explained that the building was unlike anything he'd ever seen before and put the Egyptian pyramids to shame. This building was far larger and far more advanced than any of the other structures from the time. According to Herodotus, the building would have comprised around 3,000 rooms. Even by today's standards, that's truly impressive. We don't know much else for certain, but it's been alleged that a wealth of knowledge and documentation would have been stored here. There's a chance that this building may have even held the secrets of how the pyramids were built. If this is true, it may be possible that the building met a similar fate to the Library of Alexandria. It could have been destroyed. When we look back at the history of ancient Egypt, we have to remember one thing. The life and times of these people occurred more than 4,000 years ago. That may seem like an obvious statement. However, what most of us fail to keep in mind is that Egypt wasn't simply hidden away and forgotten about after the empire fell. Instead, the land was looted time and time again by many different communities of people. During these time periods, countless historical artifacts could have been stolen or destroyed. Buildings would have been torn down so that their resources could be used to build other structures. History would have been erased by vandals who destroyed historical documents and defaced priceless artifacts. All of this would have occurred time and time again over the course of thousands of years. This means that what's left of Egypt today is little more than a shell and a slight glimpse into what the history of this area would have originally looked like. Many historians remain unconvinced that such an incredible building existed back in those days. However, it's possible that the building was simply dismantled over time, and there's virtually nothing left of it these days. Hal Safliani Hypogeum Malta is known to be home to many fascinating underground structures that have been nearly forgotten by history. One such structure is called the Hypogeum of Hal Safliani. This structure would have been built sometime around 3800 BC to 2500 BC. At the time, it would have been used as a holy place for locals to visit and for grieving families to bury their dead. However, the building is much more interesting than that and holds many secrets that remain unsolved. The structure is filled with countless halls and corridors that seem to loop and wind around in ways that are hard to understand. However, there's one room in particular that has left researchers and historians baffled as they can't seem to understand the purpose of such a room. There's a location that's buried deep underground that's known worldwide for its bizarre acoustics. For the most part, people design rooms so that sounds don't bounce around and will more often than not dissipate fairly quickly. After all, no one wants to be living in an echo chamber. However, in this instance, it almost seems as though the architect specifically designed the room to reverberate sound. Though just telling the story of this place doesn't really do it justice. According to those who visited the room, it's been said that every minuscule sound that takes place within this room will seemingly echo until the end of time. It's been said that the strange construction of the room causes even the quietest sounds to amplify themselves. Some researchers say that the sounds grow to such a volume that it will cause the human body to vibrate as the sound rings throughout the halls. We don't know for sure why these rooms were built this way, nor do we fully understand what causes them to be so reverberating. One question remains with most researchers. Were the acoustics of these rooms designed this way by choice, or was it little more than a happy accident? If these rooms were in fact built this way on purpose, then why would they have been built like this? These questions remain unanswered, even by the most skilled and dedicated researchers. 
Clearly, human history still has many stories that remain untold or unexplained. Even though there's a lot about our future that we still don't understand, there's always more about our past that fails to provide an adequate explanation. There's a good chance that many of the topics we discuss today will remain unsolved mysteries. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more videos.